Hey guys, this is number 29 in the series. This one's called Church. It was given 1121-23. Church. Serve, love, share, pray, read, worship. These are the core elements to do with one another. Avoid gossip, arguments, activities that busy you without learning more of me. Time is too short to waste with socials and anything not directly related to the pure elements of serve, love, share, pray, read, worship. Come together as I draw you and serve one another and others and love one another and others. Share my gospel with one another and others. Together, pray for each other. The world, the prodigals, the unsaved, the half-borns, pray. Read my words together and with others out loud who have never heard them. Worship me, sing songs, speak kind words to me and about me, pray and acknowledge my traits, tell others of your miracles, point out to others my creations, provisions, and protections. Serve, love, share, pray, read, worship. Church, it's time to be healed. Here's the verses. In the serve section, Ephesians 4.12, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Galatians 5.13, for you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For love, it's 1 Peter 1.22, since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth, through the Spirit, in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart. John thirteen thirty four. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. 1 Corinthians thirteen thirteen. And now abide in faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Share. Matthew twenty eight eighteen to 20 And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Hebrews thirteen sixteen, But do not forget to do good and share... For with such sacrifices, it, God is well pleased. Pray. Acts 2.42 And they continued steadfastly the apostles in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Acts 6.3-4 Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, who we may appoint over this business, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and the ministry of the word. James five sixteen to 18. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. Colossians 4.2 Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Read Second Timothy 2.15 Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Acts 17.11 These were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. John 5, 39, You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. 2 Timothy three fifteen to 17 and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. 
All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Worship. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Philippians 3.3 3. For we are the circumcision who worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Hebrews 13.15 Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. That's it for this one, and I'll see you next time.